The pandemic continues to adversely affect minorities. CNN reports black and Latino Americans are dying of coronavirus at three times the rate of white people and are four times more likely to be hospitalized. Now that's why community leaders continue to put the issue of racism and systemic racism at the forefront of everyone's mind. Tonight, Danielle Cotterman listened in on two community forums, one aimed at the pandemic, the other revisiting the topic of policing here in the Valley. It has impacted communities of color in dramatic and tragic ways. The pandemic and racism was the focus of an online conversation Tuesday night, hosted by a grassroots organization assembled by local clergy. Racism has not ended because of the pandemic. The disparities have not ended because of the pandemic. And then, in fact, we really need to pay attention. Organizers point to statistics that say minorities are more likely to die of COVID-19. We probably can guess pretty accurately that it's because of the health health disparities that were already there. They are not always listened to when they present their medical problems. They're not always taken seriously. So there's a culture of neglect. Another conversation happening on race, the topic of police relations. Change doesn't happen overnight. Reverend Kenneth Simon among those calling for meaningful policy change within local police departments, a dialogue that's been taking place since this summer. One call for action, mandatory body cameras. And there's been some move towards that since we had our first town hall meeting. There's been several law enforcement agencies across the valley that are either in the process of or have already secured body cams for their departments. Another call for change, independent investigations and outside prosecution for alleged police misconduct. It's kind of difficult for um, police departments to police themselves in a fair way that would bring justice. Calls for action and calls for conversation, a goal to bring about change and a long-standing problem. With more local news, I'm Danielle Cotterman.